Hey everybody, this is Jay with Inspirion Trucking Services and Inspirion Insurance Solutions. And today we're going to be talking about the FMCSA Driver Fitness Basic. So our talking points of the day are going to be the understand the CSA and basic program, learn about it, and discover some ways that you can help to lower its score. So starting with the program itself, the FMCSA has a responsibility to prevent crashes, injuries, and fatalities related to the use of a CMV. To do this, they use an enforcement program called the Compliance Safety and Accountability, or CSA. CSA is a monitoring and evaluation system that allows the FMCSA to intervene when safety regulations are not being followed by the carriers or their drivers. Performance data will appear online in the Safety Measurement System, SMS, and data is updated once a month to include information related to driver and vehicle violations, crash reports from the last two years, and investigation results. The FMCSA then organizes all the data into seven behavioral analysis and safety improvement categories, also known as basics. The FMCSA is going to measure a carrier's performance under each one of the basics, assigning them a score and prioritizing riskier fleets for interventions. Scores are based upon roadside, on-site and off-site inspection results and are reflected as a percentage rank from 0 to 100. The higher the percentile, the worse the safety performance. Once a violation has been categorized, it is weighted on both time and severity. A time weight of 1, 2, or 3 is assigned to every violation based on when the violation occurred. The more recent the crash, the more it will impact scores. Violations are weighted triple if it's between now and six months ago from when it occurred. Violations are weighted double if they occurred between six and 12 months. And then they have a single weight between 12 and 24 months ago. After 24 months, they drop out of the system. A severity weight between one being the least severe and 10 the most is assigned to every applicable violation. In general, the severity weights relates to the level of crash risk associated with the violation. Essentially, violations that could increase the likelihood of future crashes uh, are weighted heavier. So reckless driving or on your phone, for example. Uh, if the violation was severe enough to warrant an out-of-service order, then the violation is assigned an additional two points. So the driver fitness basic. The driver fitness basic is one of seven categories the FMCSA uses to determine how a motor carrier stacks up compared to other carriers with a similar number of events. The Driver Fitness Basic aims to identify drivers who are unfit to operate a CMV due to lack of training, experience, or medical qualifications. Common examples of violations under this basic would be failing to have a valid commercial driver's license, being, being medically unqualified to operate a CMV, or a motor carrier not maintaining driver qualification files. Unsafe Driving Intervention Threshold. For each basic, the FMCSA sets what's called an intervention threshold. For driver fitness basic, this would be 80% for general carriers, 65% for passenger carriers, and 75% for hazmat carriers. Consequences of being above the intervention threshold is going to lead to warning letters from the FMCSA, uh, on-site inspections and fines if you don't improve, uh, also more frequent roadside inspections and higher insurance premiums, so uh, just bad news all the way around. Maintaining basic scores below the intervention threshold demonstrates to an FMCSA, to the FMCSA, that your fleet is operating safely. Uh, some consequences that they relate specifically to drivers would be expensive tickets that you have to pay out of pocket. Uh, they also impact basic scores that show up on a driver's PSP or pre-employment screening program, and they stay for three years. So what are some things you guys can do to keep these scores down? Well, for starters, you should understand the program and what's expected of you. Uh, driver fitness has a direct impact on how a fleet ranks in the program, making it important to understand the following. What violations carry more points and have the greatest impact? How long violations impact your score for? Um, just one violation can stand for two years. And then how warnings can impact basic scores just as much as a violation. You should also make sure to do your best to have clean inspections. So inspections positively impact a fleet score, and this is because violations will drop out of the system over time. And then remember, every violation you get during an inspection can harm the basic scores, even if no ticket was issued. Uh, you should also stay current with your documentation, so always carry your current medical certificate and driver's license. 
don't let your license or medical certificate lapse uh, and maintain driver qualification files and do your best to bring any new documentation in when you receive them. That way you can stay up to date. Uh, understanding the CDL licenses. Be aware of what you're licensed for and what you're not. Many driver fitness basic violations are due to drivers unknowingly operating a vehicle that they're not licensed for. A vehicle may not normally require a special license, but circumstances such as the vehicle being attached to a certain type of trailer can change this, so don't be afraid to ask questions. You should also develop healthy habits, so in addition to your official documentation, driver fitness also pertains to your physical health. So do your best to maintain good health and ensure that you pass your medical exam. A couple tips are, you know, eat healthy. Uh, a lot of rest stops nowadays, they have fresh fruits and vegetables. You should also consider replacing your soda or other sugar sweetened beverage with water uh, and exercise regularly. So I understand it's tough, but you know, doing any, any small step can help, even if it's just walking between rest stops. So um, definitely prioritize your, your physical health. Possible consequences for drivers. Uh, violations not only have a negative effect on, but they also filter down to the drivers. So consequences consequences such as being issued tickets for violations, inability to operate vehicles and therefore earn income, negative consequences for your pre-employment screening, uh, which keeps a record of your inspection history for three years and your crash history for five years. Um, also report all violations. Reporting basic violations allows us to stay ahead of potential issues and take action to lower your score. And what's more, it can help you identify and appeal erroneous violations using data like company systems, uh, so ELDs and GPSs, for example. So summary of the key points we talked about today. FMCSA uses the CSA program to score and to score motor carriers on safety categories called basics, and this helps them identify potentially dangerous employers. Driver behavior has a direct impact on these scores, and it's important to avoid violations at all costs, and help maintain a low score by following the rules of the road, and with time, violations will drop out of the system. This has been Jay with Inspirion Trucking Services and Inspirion Insurance Solutions. Uh, if you would like more information on the basic scores or how to create a vehicle maintenance program or a safety program, feel free to give us a call at 844-558-7825. Thank you.